talked about how when I'm crafting an outfit, I ask myself, what's the vibe? Who's the character that I want to step into today through my outfit? Sometimes it's clean girl aesthetic, goody two-shoes, mob wife, Mike McDaniel. Today we are going for city girl Saturday, but not just any city girl, the city girl that gets it done. I don't like to curse on this channel, so I'm not going to, but this vibe, we're gonna make it happen. We're doing something very exciting today, which I will talk about. I'm gonna start with some black jeans. Jeans are on, these are just plain black jeans. I got these literally a million years ago. I've had them forever. Now for my top, this is where we run into a dilemma because I wanna wear this cute little baby tee, but it's February in Boston. I think it's not that bad out today. I think it's like 40s, but I don't wanna be freezing. This is where the sweater would make more sense from a weather standpoint, but it's just not, it's not the vibe. I might just rough it because I feel so comfortable in this and this is, I'm, just, I'm gonna rough it. All right, so we've got the base of the outfit here. I love this base outfit, but where the city girl aesthetic, no, city girl Saturday aesthetic comes in is with the accessories. I'm gonna throw this coat over. This is where the city girl aesthetic really makes her debut. We're throwing on the red socks hat. Go socks. I actually don't think I'm gonna do the scarf. Yeah, no. Should I do the sweater? All right, I switched to the sweater. <laughs> it's just too cold. I actually, I don't hate it. I, I actually like it, okay? Hey, in case you're new here, hi, I'm Healthy Emmy. I'm a nutritionist, a weight loss specialist, and the creator of the Slim on Starch program. If you wanna work with me, as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach to release weight, click the link in the down bar. In the last vlog, when I talked about my goals for this month, I mentioned that my boyfriend and I need to make a decision about whether or not we're gonna stay in this apartment or whether or not we're gonna move. I love moving, I think it's so fun, it's a nice reset, I can take you on all the moving vlogs. I'm a minimalist, so moving is really easy, it's not stressful, I don't have a bunch of stuff. So today, we're touring an apartment. I'm feeling very excited, but I'm actually trying to take myself down a little bit. Something that I talk about with my Slim on Starch clients, the way we do one thing is the way we do everything. But speaking to the relationship with food, I tell my clients, I don't want you to be on the roller coaster of the highs of the high with food when you're eating a bunch of junk and you're binging and overeating and having this big fiesta party binge fest with food and then the come down that comes afterward, the binge restrict cycle, something I work to take my clients out of. I say, I don't want you to ride the highs and the lows with food anymore. I want you to be steady. I want you to be feeling always good with food and get off that roller coaster, binge, restrict, high, low, overeat, undereat, eat nothing, eat everything, stomach ache, stomach empty. I want to have this relationship with my life at a greater scale as well. I'm feeling very excited, but what I actually wanna do and the reason why I'm holding my phone is because I want to expand this emotional experience outside of just, I feel super excited, I feel super high because I don't wanna have a come down afterward if it doesn't pan out the way that I wanted to or the blush is off the roses and it's just not as, as exciting anymore. I'm thinking of future M and I don't want her to feel let down. So I'm going to to expand how I view this experience emotionally. So I have my feelings wheel pulled up here. And I would say that I'm feeling playful, interested, optimistic, trusting, free, curious, inquisitive, confident that will make the, wrong, the right decision, hopeful and inspired. So now I've just expanded this experience just from I'm feeling super good, excited. Those are absolute emotions that are so polarizing. The opposite of excited and high is feeling really let down. Whereas the opposite of feeling inspired and hopeful and inquisitive and curious, it's not an immediately negative emotion. So making this a more holistic experience that isn't so high, low, black, white. Side note question, I'm curious, do you live in a house, an apartment, a condo, a tiny house, an RV? Comment and let me know. I'm not sure how long we're gonna be gone for and I don't want to get hangry while we're there. So I'm going to make sure to eat before we go. I'm cutting up some Hawaiian sweet potatoes into pucks and then I'm gonna bake these in the oven. I reuse my parchment paper over and over again. Oh my goodness, how perfect for Valentine's Day. They're little hearts. 
So I'm just going to lay these on the parchment paper. And I'm going to bake these at 400 degrees and then flip them after about 20 minutes and have them cook until they are golden brown. All right, these babies have been baked. Some green leaf here. Okay, then I'm gonna drizzle some tahini over the potatoes. And then on top of this, I'm adding, on top of the potatoes and tahini, this is a seed mix. This is cinnamon, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seeds. A lot of times I will just have the potatoes and the lettuce. That is my go-to, but sometimes need something a little bit heartier. So a little bit of tahini and seeds added on. So this meal will stick around a little bit longer. I need to take stock of what we currently have in the fridge, in the pantry, because we're having friends over tonight for dinner and friends over tomorrow morning for brunch. So after we go to the apartments, we'll do some grocery shop shopping. So let's see what we currently have. Cause I'm gonna be making my, from the Healthy Families Cookbook, the lentil bolognese. I know I have lentils. My helper is here, cat for sale. Anybody want them? Okay, so I have red lentils. I have crushed tomatoes. I have garlic. How many lentils do I need? I need to check the recipe. Do you know? Useless. Healthy Families Cookbook. Let's, uh, let's get the recipe. I think I might have just enough lentils. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yahoo, I don't have to buy lentils. But I do need to make the rest of the grocery list. So let's do that. All right, class, everyone say good morning to Meg. Meg the Smeg. And what do we name the supplement? Greg? I actually kind of really like that. Meg and Greg. As always, I have my chamomile tea. And as always, I take my vitamin B12 supplement. If you eat a plant-based diet, especially, you must supplement with vitamin B12. You're not gonna get it from the diet. And even if you don't eat a fully plant-based diet, it's estimated that half of people that are deficient in B12 are meat eaters. It's also reported that half of Americans report that feeling low energy and fatigue impedes on their daily activities. Coincidence? I think not because B12 is essential for energy, metabolism, neurological function. So if you're feeling low energy, you might be low in B12. And if you're on a plant-based diet, you have to supplement with it anyway. So you can get your link in the down bar. You can subscribe and save so you get a discount and it's delivered to you every month, every day, baby, taking this. Okay, so we're doing dinner tonight and then brunch tomorrow. So I'm gonna make a little grocery list, not only because I'm organized to a fault, but also because if you go into the grocery store with wandering eyes and an empty stomach, you've all seen that movie before, it ends with you buying things that you're not gonna be proud of eating. So what color do I want for brunch and what do I want for dinner? Well, dinner we're gonna be doing the lentil bolognese, so I'm gonna use red dinner. So we're going to do the lentil bolognese from the Healthy Families Cookbook. And I know that I need pasta. I need an onion. I need a veggie broth, tomato paste, and mushrooms. We're also going to serve bread. I'm going to bring you to the grocery store and talk through how I choose everything especially for brunch. What color am I feeling for brunch? I'm feeling pink. I'm feeling pink for brunch. So next morning we're doing brunch. This is gonna be the fun one. I think I'm gonna do a build your own bagel bar. So for the bagel bar, of course we need bagels. Again, I'll take you with me. I'm gonna show you exactly how I choose the one I choose, the ones I choose. <laughs> We need cream cheese, vegan, oil-free, the whole thing. I'm gonna do avo, and then I'm gonna do some veg toppings. My show cat is about to perform. Show us what you got, baby. Show us what you got. That's what I'm talking about. And then on the side, I'm gonna do fruit, and then we'll do juice. All right, let's go tour the apartment. Okay, no, bring myself down. 
I'm gonna allow myself to feel excited, but also expand this emotionally so that I feel curious, inquisitive, interested, optimistic, but I am excited. <laughs> In my purse, I'm gonna throw in some roasted chestnuts as well as an apple. Perfect on the go snacks. Oh my gosh, this looks. I have my compass to see. This is west, which means the sun sets over there. I love that the light pours in. Yeah. Oh, that's like my favorite thing. <laughs> this, this is your new favorite? <laughs> this is nice. Oh, kitchen is Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the same reaction on this woman that I told you yesterday. The big windows, lots of light, and you have the little white fridge, you have different appliances because you're in a penthouse. This is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. When it's, uh, we came to do a virtual tour here yesterday, no. Two days ago, crazy. Sunlight, beautiful. Oh my goodness, you guys. So this is the apartment. The view is unbelievable. I really didn't go and, and show you, but you can see the entire city skyline. The lighting is unbelievable. The floor to ceiling windows. We are in love. How can you not be? I'm so excited about this apartment. More info to come later in the vlog about how we're feeling about it and whether or not we think we're going to move. And it is the top floor, so the lighting is as good as it's going to get. We are at Whole Foods now to get the groceries. I have my list and we will get it done. And I also brought my reusable bags. Did you know you save five cents for each reusable bag you use at Whole Foods? So let's go get some groceries. The Holy Land. Strawberries are on sale. It must be for Valentine's Day and these look divine. Avocados are on sale. Lucky me, I'll have two of these. Pro tip, if you're ever hosting and you don't want to get tons and tons of veggies you can always get some from the salad bar get a little bit of each so it's cheaper i'll get a tomato to go on top of the avocados a lemon to be squeezed on the avocado bagels i need some mushrooms for the lentil bolognese so we'll get some of these we'll do baby bella need a red onion for the bolognese it is bread time baby iggy's is local to boston and iggy's rocks but whole foods also rocks i might go for the fresh baked baguette from whole foods because they do list the ingredients right there it's just flour water yeast and salt so i think i'm gonna go for that for bagels again this is local to boston but we have the iggy's bagels here and they have fantastic ingredients they don't add any oil so i think i'm gonna go for those bagels now on to vegan cream cheese i believe kite hill is oil free and they're on sale lucky me yep they are oil free and they're on sale what a day tomato paste in the tube is always a million times better trust me on this one for the pasta i don't love fettuccine but i believe that bolognese traditionally goes on fettuccine so, so here's me taking one for the team veggie broth look at this credo now has this oil free vegan alfredo sauce and Alfreda Rosa. Unfortunately, these are not my jam, but uh, for others, they may be. We're gonna pop into Tate, which is our favorite. Cafe. It is so nice out in Boston today. It must be 50 degrees, bub, yeah? Gorgeous out. So we're gonna pop into Tate, get a tea, get a coffee. I also need to pop into CVS because I need concealer. My Iliad concealer is out. But I kind of want to try something different, see if I can find something clean and vegan in CVS. Yeah. I actually love Wet n Wild. I love their foundation. I don't know if they've concealer in my shade though it's vegan it is vegan but 
I think they're out of my shade. This might be way too light for me. I might just go for it though. Okay, there's e.l.f. 2, which is clean, vegan, cruelty-free. And this might actually be my shade. I'm gonna go with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I'm going to do the shade medium neutral and pray for the best. strawberries and well actually I got these strawberries and I went to check out and the price was much higher than what was listed and so I had the attendant come over because it was listed that they were on sale for $3.99 but these were ringing up as $8 and I was like that can't be right and it turns out they were mismarked so these ones were $3.99 there so these are $3.99 uh, and these ones were $8 because the guy came over and explained to me, he said, these are the sweetest batch. He said he tried them. They're really sweet. And then he said, you know what? You can have these for free, which was so kind. And he said, you're going to love them. So we have plenty of strawberries for tomorrow, which is perfect because it's our Valentine's Day brunch. I did not anticipate that the vlog was going to go this way, but, uh, We're, I think we're moving. I think we're moving, V. Bear, I think we're moving. So here's the deal. I used to be a homeowner. I had a beautiful house. I built the house, designed it exactly how I wanted it to be. And then I sold it so that my boyfriend and I could move in together in the city. We live in Boston. The apartment that we are currently in, we live in the Seaport District. And we love management here. We love, a, we have a beautiful roof that overlooks the harbor. And we love everything about this apartment as an organization. The actual unit that we are in though, for my filming purposes, you see how dark it is back there? The lighting just won't do. I am very, very big on lighting. You know my aesthetic, light, bright, white, minimalist. Mm. don't have that here with our current kitchen. I really can't film in the kitchen because the light just doesn't reach all the way back there. So our lease renewal came back. And like I said, we love management here. They're so sweet. It's a great place to live, but the rent went up pretty substantially for a unit that I don't love. I don't love this unit. So we said, you know, what do we do? Are we going to buy a house? We're not going to buy a house. It's just not the right time with my boyfriend's, the way that his work is the contracts are set it's just not a smart time so we are not going to do that just yet we'll probably do that in 2025 so i booked that tour and we were lathered the view in that apartment when i read at night i'll put ai youtube vibe aesthetics up on the tv in that apartment was one of those in real life. The lighting was spectacular. I took out my compass and it faces west, which means in the afternoons, light will just pour in there. So we left and we applied for it on the walk to Whole Foods. I just took out my phone and applied for it. So we got approved. We have 48 hours to decide. I did not think all this was gonna happen so soon, but this is usually the way moving goes. Like when I went to buy my house and I was like 24 or 25, I went to just look at houses one day randomly and I literally put down my deposit to build a house that day. It's like this, this is just kind of the way it happens with moving, especially the Boston housing market is ridiculous it's insane if you don't act on something it's it's gone the next day so you can't you you have to be a little bit impulsive the aesthetic in the new place we're gonna spend a lot more time in the kitchen which means you're gonna see a lot more of what i'm eating a lot more cooking as if i don't already do that but this is gonna be next level honey growing up one of my favorite movies was the devil wears prada and i have watched that movie a hundred times that's a hundred is a, a way underestimation thousands of times i've watched that movie and i was so attracted 
to the boss. These women just in the city, living their best lives, dressed beautifully, clean cut, driven, career driven, goal oriented, getting it done. I loved that energy and I dreamt that one, you know, in another life I could be that. And I think that moving into this next apartment is the manifestation of what 12 year old me always dreamed of. And if I live it for just a year and then we move into a house, you know, we'll see. I guess I'm moving. This all happened so fast. <laughs> but like I said, in the Boston, Boston housing market, that is the way it goes. It just happens very quickly. So I am going to do a little bit of work and it ended up being so warm out today. It's 60 degrees, which is wild. This is so classic in Boston. There's one day in February where it, it hits 60 and it's going to be like 20s the rest of the week. That's always the way it is. You're like, yes, it's here. Spring is here. Nope. This is so classic Boston. So we're going to go sit on the roof. My boyfriend's, a couple of his friends are coming over. So we're going to go hang out up there. All right. I'll see you when it is time to make the bolognese. Look at this little guy. He has no idea he's going to be moving. <laughs> <laughs> so got a couple packages. We all know what this is. Hawaiian sweet potatoes, so that's very exciting. I am gonna get dinner started. Bub, what is my most superior sense? Your smell. My smell. My sense of smell is so good. I don't even have to label my spices because I just smell them and I know what they are. So like, I know this is oregano, I know this is onion powder. Honeys, if you are looking for a recipe that is going to knock the socks off of the guests that you're serving or whoever you're serving this to or yourself, you've got to get the Healthy Families Cookbook and make the lentil bolognese. My boyfriend literally thought that it was real bolognese. Good morning. It is Super Bowl Sunday. We are having friends over for brunch in about an hour so i'm gonna get everything ready we're gonna go have brunch upstairs so i'm gonna pack everything away in here plates orange juice oil free vegan cream cheese really smells like cream cheese how do they do it forks knives serving tongs to cut the bagels avocados tomato and lemon knife because i'm gonna prep everything up there cutting board I think I picked a beautiful avocado. I did. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, I am getting ready so fast because our friends are gonna be here in like five minutes. Tonight is hair wash night because it's Sunday, which means this hair is getting slicked back. I have some nice curls. My The lighting makes my hair look so red. I swear it's not that red, but thank goodness I'm going on Wednesday to make sure it is my natural color, which is this very ashy dark brunette. So we've got the setup. We've got the bagels, the vegan cream cheese, avocado, lemon, tomato, strawberries for a little breakfast bite before the Super Bowl. I'm about to add some everything but the bagel seasoning on top of this, but I did one with avocado, one with the vegan cream cheese, some lemon, strawberries, tomato. Let's do it. As a reminder, if you want to work with me as well as a nutrition coach and a mindset coach to release weight on a plant-based diet, click the link in the down bar. I can't wait to meet you. I love you, honeys. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in my next video.